Through the 70s and 80s, KTM built a fantastic reputation for making incredible dirt bikes. But by the 90s, the company found itself floundering and ended up filing for bankruptcy. The company was forced to splinter into four independent arms – tooling, radiators, bicycles and, of course, motorcycles. This served as a blessing in disguise as it was now forced to focus on just making motorcycles. It consolidated its dirt bike range but also invested a large portion of its development budget in the LC4 engine. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best KTM Duke models ranked. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome auto guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. And at 10, 620 Duke, top speed rating 7. It was tall, had incredible torque and handled a lot like a dirt bike. It was effectively the first production supermoto. Although it wasn't the fastest, it was fun to ride and the bike turned out to be a huge hit for the company. KTM's range of LC4 powered bikes laid the foundation for the company with much of their success traced back to 1994 when this particular model made its inauspicious debut. At 9, 790 Duke, top speed rating 7.5. The Scalpel has successfully reinvented itself as a budget-friendly middleweight now made in China. Although the first version made headlines for all the wrong reasons, the latest iteration of the bike seems to have largely worked out all the kinks. It remains to be seen if the long-term reliability holds up, but as it stands, all we can see is fantastic value for money. Unless you recently bought a used 2019 model, then you might feel a little aggrieved seeing a new bike that costs less. At 8. It's 200 Duke, top speed rating 7.5. The first generation of the Duke 200 is still arguably the best sub 250cc offering. This little Duke is just as fun to ride as the bigger 390, only the fun is being had at a more sedate pace. The term beginner friendly gets thrown around a lot these days, but this is a real beginner bike. It is also the ultimate fun commuter, light, flickable, thanks to a wonderful trellis chassis. The 200 has always been so much more than just a learner bike. At 7, it's 390 Duke, top speed rating 8. In terms of value for money, the latest 390 has really taken it up a notch. It is packed with tech and features you would normally only find on bigger, more expensive bikes. Most of the kinks have also been worked on in its over a decade of existence. The latest generation is easily the best 390 yet. At 6, 690 Duke R. Top speed rating 8. The LC4 reached the peak of its power with the 690 Duke R. It defies logic that a single cylinder can make this much power, but it does, and it really is bonkers. At this point, KTM admitted that they had extracted absolutely everything from the engine, forcing them to bring the curtain down on the model due to emission woes. But it was the best kind of send off. It is not the fastest nor the most powerful, but it is about as much fun as a motorcycle can be. At 5, it's the 990 Super Duke, top speed rating 8. We won't go as far as saying KTM reinvented the naked sports bike class, but it certainly brought something fresh with the first Super Duke. Offering something with a little more performance than anything they had produced prior to this, they whipped up something truly special. With 120 horsepower, but more importantly gobs of torque, it gave contemporary sports bikes a good scare and its precise handling only made things better. At 4, it's the 1290 Super Duke R, top speed rating 8. The Super Duke is all about excess, too much power for its own good and enough torque to power wheelie in every gear. An absolute monster. It should only ever be ridden by experienced riders and we are sure that it will even catch them by surprise from time to time. There are very few modern motorcycles as scary as the Super Duke and that is why we love it. At 3, it's the 890 Duke R, top speed rating 8.5. While the 790 promised much, it delivered precious little until its Chinese renaissance. The 890 was the one that ended up delivering on all the promises made by the 790. Its unusual 285 degree crank makes it especially unique, delivering power almost exactly like a V-twin would, just without all the engineering limitations. Power is one thing, but with the R model, you also get the suspension to go with it and keep it all in check. At 2, it's the 1390 Super Duke R Evo, top speed rating 
What you get with the latest Super Duke is the all scary power of the 1290 and then some more power to sweep you off your feet. While the old 1290 was raw and rowdy, the 1390 offers an element of civility when you want that type of thing. You can also choose to turn off all the electronic aids and scare yourself half to death while enjoying creature comforts like cruise control and electronic suspension. Bear in mind, the latter is only available on the Evo. And finally, at number 1, 1290 Super Duke GT, top speed rating 8.5. With ADVs and sport touring bikes getting so much more popular, this has to be the natural evolution of the Super Duke. The grown-up version, if you will. The Hooligan still resides within, but it gets a bunch of touring-friendly upgrades. There's a different, slightly less aggressive map, upgraded wind protection and luggage options. In so many ways, this is just a way for you to drag your favourite party animal halfway across the country. And there you have the top 10 best KTM Duke models ranked. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic auto guides. So see you next time.